Hi, I'm here for Partnering 360. I'm here with Marietta Wu. She's the COO of Xi Labs out of Shanghai, China. And um, she's the COO for a woman-led uh, company. She works for Samantha Du, is that right? Yes. It's pretty impressive. So, um, welcome. Thank you. Um, now, tell me about Xi Lab and the kind of companies that you work with. Sure. Uh, first of all, let me uh, thank uh, EDB Group uh, for organizing this, and it's really a pleasure to be here at Bio Europe and earlier uh, uh, during the conference at uh, China Forum. Uh, Xi Lab is a young biotech company based out of uh, Shanghai, China. Mm -hmm. uh, we focus on developing uh, innovative medicine, uh, not only in China, but also for the globe. And so you were on a panel at the China Forum, which preceded Bio Europe here where we are today, and that was um, called Entrepreneur's Perspectives, is that right? Starting and growing successful businesses in China. Can you tell me briefly about um, that panel and what, what you're speaking on? Yes, sure. Uh, uh, it's an interesting panel uh, because um, uh, during the uh, past uh, uh, decade, uh, young uh, entrepreneurial companies start to uh, evolve out of uh, China mm -hmm. and uh, uh, some of them are venture backed uh, more like a traditional sense uh, like in the US mm -hmm. and uh, Xi is uh, among the wave of uh, Chinese companies that's coming out and uh, with its unique uh, opportunities uh, and challenges and uh, uh, the person who actually needs to be supposed to be at the uh, panel is our uh, CEO <laughs> and uh, our fearless leader, uh, Samantha Du, who actually is a seasoned entrepreneur. Uh, during the past 10 years, she actually was the founded one of the uh, leading biotech companies out of China called wow. Hutchinson Net Farmer. She was the founder and the CEO for that company, uh, not only founded the company, but really grow into a, uh, a leading drug discovery and development engine uh, out of China. So Xi is a uh, next stage of the company uh, that she led and uh, found uh, uh, with a, a team of uh, uh, industry veterans. Mm -hmm. And the uh, focus of Xi is really taking the uh, Chinese Chinese biotech uh, uh, to a next stage uh, in drug development, and uh, hopefully, you know, we can partner with uh, global uh, uh, partners to really capture the uh, uh, rapidly growing uh, Chinese market. Yes, yeah, that's what I've heard a lot about, actually. Um, so, could you just briefly say what are the opportunities in China for a company that's looking to, you know, go international, um, begin relationships there? Uh, what advice do you have, or what, what would you say to them? Well, um, the opportunity there, uh, first of all, is obviously the market opportunity. Uh, I think uh, undoubtedly China uh, uh, still is a uh, relatively small uh, market as compared to U.S., but uh, the uh, growth of the market is at a very rapid rate, and uh, uh, it's already uh, exceeded all expectations, uh, coming to be uh, uh, soon to be uh, the second largest market, uh, exceeding yeah. Japan. And uh, uh, the prediction is uh, uh, in not too long future, it's going to uh, be captured. Uh, are catching up as uh, one of the largest uh, market uh, in the world. So uh, the market opportunity is uh, definitely there. On the other hand, I think uh, Chinese market, uh, uh, as compared to a lot of the um, market here in US and Europe, is far less mature. So uh, it still has some of the characters more like an uh, emerging market. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, that really creates the opportunity for a company that's based out of China with more of global perspective and global view to play in that market uh, to really bring innovation uh, into China and develop innovative drugs uh, for the global. And uh, on the other end, uh, it's also a opportunity to, uh, for a company like Xi to partner with global farmers to introduce uh, some of the innovative products into the Chinese market mm -hmm. with speed and quality. So for uh, Xi, we're actually covering all the way from early preclinical R&D ready phase all the way to uh, uh, late stage development, even registration commercial phase with different strategies uh, in terms of yeah, so you already described your partnering strategy. Do you have an ideal partner that you're looking for here at BioEurope? Well, uh, we are open uh, to uh, many different partnerships. Uh, we believe uh, in uh, collaborative uh, relationships and uh, uh, we actually uh, uh, 
couple of months ago, we have uh, uh, reached a partnership uh, with Sanofi in licensing two of their uh, respiratory disease uh, programs uh, with Global Rights, and uh, we are moving forward with global development. Uh, uh, in terms of uh, IND filing both in the U.S. as well as in China uh, in parallel process. Oh wow, that's wonderful. You know, it's been a pleasure speaking with you today here at Bio Europe, and I'm sure that we'll see you again at China Bio Partnering Forum that's coming up in the spring. Yes, this is in Shanghai, be so yes. it's been great talking with you today. Thanks it's a pleasure coming. to be here. Thank you very much for having me. Sure. Thanks.